When shopping for a commercial dehumidifier, you may have noticed that most dehues use testing conditions of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 60% relative humidity, whereas the dry air is tested at a considerably lower temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Why? Let's take a look at why a dehumidifier that is most efficient at 80 degrees Fahrenheit is so dangerous for your crop and why dry air's efficiency at lower temperatures make it the best dehumidifier for lowering the dew point in cool temperatures when preventing dew from condensing on your crop in the morning is so critical. Humidity or the amount of water vapor in the surrounding air is a factor within your growing environment. Humidity is critical when it comes to growing plants. It's neither positive or negative, but it can be both. Humidity, once understood, can be managed and manipulated. Temperature plays an influential role when it comes to humidity. The warmer the air, the more water vapor it can potentially hold. Since the amount of water that air can hold constantly changes with the temperature, the concept of relative humidity, or RH, measures in terms of percentage, which is the water vapor in the air compared to the total water vapor potential that the air can hold at a given temperature. So as an example, to say relative humidity is 50% means at this specific temperature, the air is carrying half the potential water vapor possible. When we describe muggy weather to our friends, we're describing uncomfortable, hot and humid conditions. It's an oppressive heat that forces you to sweat and yet the sweat never evaporates. So you stand there overheated and soaking wet. Plants need to sweat too or transpire to be comfortable for optimal growth and yield. The amount of water plants lose through transpiration is regulated to a point by opening and closing their stomata. All gases in the air exert a certain pressure. The more water vapor in the air, the greater the vapor pressure. Think of those muggy conditions again, and it's almost as if the humidity is a force sitting on you. Well, that's exactly what you're experiencing. So from a plant's perspective, high humidity conditions feels like a heavy weight pressing from all directions. This is why plants transpire less in high humidity environments. It's literally hard for the plants to combat the pressure of the weight of the water vapor bearing down on it. The opposite is true when the vapor pressure is low. The pressure exerted on the plant is light and the plant can more easy, easily release water vapor into the air. Now that we have a feel for relative humidity, let's address vapor pressure deficit or VPD. Basically, we're talking about the difference of two things, the pressure exerted by water vapor held in saturated air, 100% a given temperature, and the pressure exerted by the water vapor that is actually held in the air being measured at the same given temperature. The VPD tells us how plants feel and respond to the humidity in their growing environment. Expressed as kilopascals, or KPA, most plants thrive when VPD is between 0.4 to 1.6. So VPD values less than 0.4 and higher than 1.6 are guaranteed to stress most plants by forcing them to either over or under transpire. Controlling your plant's rate of respiration is essential for growing healthy, high yield plants. Transpiration is the process that plants use to cool themselves 
And when you consider the fact that 90% of a healthy plant's water uptake is transpired with just 10% used for growth, the importance of creating an environment in which plants can efficiently transpire and grow becomes obvious. When VPD is high, or low RH, plants respond by closing the stomata to prevent excessive water loss. This can cause the leaves to wilt and negatively affects the rate of photosynthesis because less CO2 is absorbed through the closed stomata. When VPD is low, high RH, transpiration is also restricted due to the pressure imbalance between the environment and the plant, making the release of water vapor difficult to impossible. The VPD calculator is a wonderful visual tool that shows the grower a crop's ability to transpire in a given set of conditions. Once the relationship between RH, temperature, and VPD are understood, the grower can begin manipulating each to create conditions that will produce healthy, stress-free plants with optimal yields. Let's take a look at the VPD calculator and plot the VPD values for dehumidifiers with testing conditions of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 60 RH and the dry air that tests at 64 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 RH in order to understand the significance of the difference between these test conditions. This shows how dry air is designed to act as a protector when things go bad while most other dehumidification units will work great when things are good, but will not help you when things go bad. Most growers would like to grow with value somewhere in the middle of the chart, because that is where your plant will be most comfortable and produce the highest yields. The middle of the chart represents moderately warm temperatures and low RH. The only problem is, we know temperatures fall at night, then rise again in the morning. Because dry air is most efficient in low temperatures, as the temperature rises in the greenhouse, dry air becomes more efficient and removes more water than at the lower temperatures. This gives the grower the ability to get the plant back into the sweet spot by lowering the RH even as the temperatures rise. These testing conditions will allow the plant to enter the danger zone and be escorted back to safety. When a unit is designed to be efficient in warm temperatures, you end up with a unit that becomes less efficient when the temperature drops and only maintains its efficiency when more water vapor is added to the equation. Once a warm weather dehumidifier is asked to perform in falling temperatures, it abandons the fight and the water vapor continues to build until it falls from the air as water droplets that form on your plants. Once this happens, you have reached a point of no return and your warm weather dehumidifier will not be able to escort your plants back to safety. So there you have it. I hope you now understand the significance of Dreiger's test conditions and VPD in relation to your dehumidification needs. Dreiger is the most efficient, most effective dehumidifier on the market, making it the grower's choice for crop success.